everybody. We are doing an on the job design here. I want to show you guys. Okay, so we have awesome face painting already done. Uh, and these guys are amazing. They're visiting Utah from Houston. So, you know, all over the country here together. Uh, but we're going to be doing a little bit of understanding the butterfly and its position. So they have graciously said that I can use their arms. Let's get going. So I love families. Families are the bomb. And so it can be really fun to tell the butterfly family story. If you have not read um, Eric Carle's The Hungry Caterpillar, you need to. And so in your beautiful flower designs, you can always be like, hey, can I add a baby butterfly? And people are like, oh yes, do it, do it, do it. And then it's funny because this is a baby butterfly right there. And it's in a little egg. And it's, you know, silly joke, but it's cute. So then once the baby is born, let me tell you that we need caterpillars in our life. They are so much fun and they can be crazy. So just with a filbert, load up some fun colors and you just do this little trail of beads. And you can go up and down and whatever you want. The front one, you just make it a little bit bigger and then we can put some little fun little feet on it or whatever you want. So we add the antenna because butterflies love their antenna. And then you can put a little happy face on it. You can put some little line dots going up or down. Um, you know, it's just, it's fun. And now we have our little young butterfly and our baby butterfly. And it's already- It's a caterpillar. It is a caterpillar. So this is where the butterfly journey begins. And we need to understand that. But as we move forward in the butterfly journey, we want to make sure that we understand how the wings work. And so butterflies and moths have these gorgeous wings and we really have a chance to play with them. But if we take a look at how to make it work, we're gonna just get this X right here, this plus sign, just like that. And each quadrant gets one wing but we don't need that on your arm. Okay, so we can just come here and we can pop one wing there. Now this wing needs to match its little friend over here. So we just reverse our hand and we put in the next wing. Then we come out and put in a wing on the bottom, come out and put a wing on the bottom and these wings match. Now this happens because I was hurrying and I went through. So make sure you keep your outside color on the outside. There we go. So here is just our basic butterfly and it's really fun. We can use the edge of our brush to put a body in there. And then we can you want the unicorn? put the crazy line work in that makes us all so happy. So here we go. We're gonna put our little butterfly and it's there and it's so fast, but it's not cool yet. I mean, it is cool, but let me show you something super fun that we can do. This is an amazing glitter palette and it's just chunky glitter in a cream base. It's by, um, this is the Vivid Dream Glitter Palette by Gleam and I love it. So we can just grab whatever is the inside color and just pop that sparkle right on there. Now it works on the butterfly. I like to use color specific glitter, but then we can use whatever color we want around the butterfly and just add in all those extra sparkles. So it's much faster than mine work, but it's awesome. So now we have like the whole little family, right? And this is awesome. But what I wanna show you guys is how to incorporate motorcycles. <laughs> No. How to incorporate other techniques and designs that we do to create these wonderful butterflies. So using that understanding, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna throw in some really fun art here. So if you notice, we kept the light colors on the inside and the dark colors on the outside. But what we're gonna do here is we're gonna reverse that. So we're gonna put light on the outside and we're gonna shift our X. So our X that we did, for this one was like this. Here, we're gonna rotate it in space so that we are looking at the butterfly from the side. And so we're gonna pull the top two wings like this. And then we're gonna, actually, I'm gonna do it so we can see it a little better. Can I paint on your leg? Yes. Is that okay? Cause then we can make it even bigger. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna pull the first wing here and we're gonna pull the second wing here. This allows us to tuck that little wing right behind and it gives us this profile butterfly that is so beautiful. And when you do a big butterfly, you have these empty spots. Over here, we just filled in the little emptiness. 
but when you've got a big empty spot, you can go ahead and just add another layer of that beautiful one stroke color. Throw in a couple more and you can see as long as the top two wings kind of match and the bottom wing, we only get one bottom wing. So this is fun. Let your brush just go crazy and have so much fun throwing in all these little wisps and curls. We bring that dark edge and we can draw that little body right there and flip the brush and get the light edge to kind of give us that. Now we're going to throw in some crazy lines. If you get a line work brush, this is a liner brush uh, by Mark Reed. Let me make sure yeah, it had white in it. And we're going to just load this up like crazy. Look how much room there is on this brush for paint. It's really remarkable how much paint a liner brush can let you get. I know Blazing Brush just came out with a whole set of liners that I have. I haven't used them yet, but I'm so excited. So um, try them all, buy them all. Okay, here we go. So we've got this white. Now what we can do is we can take this butterfly wing and we can just pull these beautiful long teardrops. And we can pull smaller ones into it and we can pull these big ones down, big ones down, and then throw in a couple more lines and then grab And you can see this brush, it just keeps painting because of those long bristles. It has a really huge load and we can get these super long, gorgeous lines. Now I like every wing to start with a teardrop and to end with a teardrop. So one of the things I like to do is I like to just put my teardrops in place. So I've got these nice teardrops coming in like that and then I can just connect them. So it really makes it nice and not I'm not worried about like, oh, what shape do I do next and how do I make this all work? Because as long as we know where we're starting and where we're ending, the middle is just beautiful and fun. Okay, so let's throw another little wispy down. Let's bring a little couple of wisps up and we're just letting our brush play and it's so much fun. Now, I'm gonna grab another little brush. We're gonna grab a dark pink, cause that's gonna be fun. What actually can work really nice is you take the darkest color from your one stroke and you load that as your line work color. And if you want to make it a little darker, you can always touch it in like a dark blue or something. So now all we need is that extra little bit. So we're just gonna divide the body away from the rest of the butterfly. And we're going to just pull a couple little spots up here and then from that antenna we're going to bring it up and wisp it and from this one we'll wisp it down and then i like to feel connected across the design so whatever we do here we want it to show up somewhere and so we can just pop just a couple of these little lines into the design somewhere else and that helps it not look strange now, this is a very warm butterfly. Like we love it and it's awesome, but it can feel a little um, stuck on one side of the rainbow. So if we just grab something cold, this is just some blue and green, and we're just gonna touch a couple little spots in there. And that just cools that butterfly down just that little bit. It gives our eyes a visual break from red, orange, and yellow. And then we can hit our spots with white on the inside and that will even knock it back one more little bit then of course we can't have this butterfly not have our happy sparkly jumpy bits so we're gonna grab those in there and a few little dots okay now when do you stop it is such a hard choice to know when to say this butterfly is finished i usually watch the kid when the kid starts to get squirmy I know that we're probably done. If the kid isn't getting squirmy, keep going, keep having fun. Um, now, this is going to be a very long video for you guys and it's fun, but we need to have her have an amazing art as well. So we're gonna shift your arms over and we're gonna do this butterfly's little friend over here. But I wanna show you guys one thing that's really fun and that's when we mix our abilities with our designs. Um, and almost do like a camouflage thing. You do? Oh, I'm so glad. We'll put sparkles on it in the end, okay? Okay. So we're gonna have these butterflies have a little party here around this rose. So we're using our same brush. Anytime you use the same brush for two different things, it's gonna make them blend together and look like they belong together. So we've got that going on already, but now what we need is we need to grab our cool rainbow. So a little blue and purple, maybe a touch of green. 
and we're gonna just pull the same butterfly over here, but I'm gonna change one little part of it because I wanted you guys to see a different technique. So you can see like, oh my gosh, these colors are so beautiful together. So I'm getting my top wing and then my little bottom wing. And let's even throw in one more little journey up here. Okay, now right now, this is stuck next to each other. I want this little butterfly to actually be in front. So I just have to pull a little bit of the wing and now the rose fades behind. This gives us an awesome spot to go ahead and add in those little extra feathery bits that we want. Okay, so let's pop out a new uh, angle brush. This is a short shader. Um, it's a number 10 angle. And what we're gonna do with that is we're gonna grab whatever color this is. So we've got kind of green and purple and we're gonna just find in our kit somewhere green and a purple that has a white edge. So you need a white edge, but you want the color to still kind of match. So this is actually gonna be the inside of our flower. And then I'll show you what we do to the butterfly. So we're gonna start with a little uh, bump and then we shift over by like a millimeter and do a little U. Then all we have to do is just do nice little circles around that one. And we've got this um, center of the rose is pointed up towards this other butterfly. And that's gonna keep the focus of this design kind of tight in together. Then you can see that this isn't the center. The center is actually right here. So I didn't do a very good job of putting the middle of my rose in the middle. So the way to fix that is I'm just gonna come up here and I'm gonna add one more little petal right here. And now the center of my rose is where the center of my rose actually is. So don't ever feel like you're too late and we can't fix the, the flow of a design. If something says to you, oh my gosh, this isn't right, then just keep working with it. It's not done until we sparkle. So, all right, there we go. We put the warm colors into that butterfly. And now I'm gonna go ahead and find a little bit of white next to a green. What this allows us to do is, if you've seen the ghost roses that have beautiful white details we're about to do, um, this is awesome to use the green because it's not gonna muddy up the green we already have on here. So we're gonna just follow along the same butterfly shape and line that we already had going on right here. And it's gonna just add the most lovely, like shaded complexity. It's just, oh, it's so pretty. And by using a little bit more green, it's gonna mimic the um, leaves that would be around a rose anyway. Okay, so now we have our butterfly. We need a few little white detail lines, so we're going to grab our line brush. And this time, let's go ahead and put just a small little body in right there and a couple um, antenna. And then you can see we have a lot of wing over here, and it's not really clear where the top and the bottom connect. If that's bothering you, we can totally just come in with a couple of white lines to give that um, break that we need. But because we did so many designs with the angle brush, I don't wanna muddy that up. So I'm gonna just add a light little bit of extra instead of the crazy amounts we did on the other side. There is a point at which it's too much. That point is when you don't like it anymore. So everybody's uh, place for that is gonna be a little bit different. Um, but just make sure you pay attention to yourself. And when your voice, inner voice says, ugh, next time stop 20 seconds sooner. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna throw a little bit of that white around our rose and that helps it look like it belongs in our design. And now for the sparkle, everybody's favorite part. Okay, the really nice thing about having a glitter palette is you can just hold it and you have all the colors you need. So I'm gonna grab some pink, I'm gonna come right over here to my rose and I'm gonna touch it in on those pink things. I'm gonna grab some gold, come over here, we're touching it in on the nice golden butterfly. Then I've got this green and blue, I can bring that in and just pocket it. We're not really looking to cover the whole thing with sparkles, but it's such a nice pop that we can just do almost like a polka dot of glitter. And then it gives you that shine but without overwhelming the design. 
And then this beautiful clear sparkle is awesome for anything around because it's just gonna add that little bit of shine. Um, anyway, and then, of course, when you paint on legs, you don't have to show them in the mirror because they can see it. What do you guys think of your butterflies? We love it. Do you love it? Okay, awesome. High fives. Thanks, everybody.